hello everyone today i'm going to try and give a, a diet chart <clears throat> for a specific age group i have taken the age group as 10 to 14 year olds these are children who are between 5th standard to 8th standard which is middle school 10 to 14 years of age and their approximate weight will range from 30 kgs to 40 or 45 kgs so these children roughly require 1500 to 1800 calories every day 60 percent of the calories does come from carbohydrates 60 to 70 percent and the remaining 20 to 30 percent comes from fats in their diet please uh, remember both carbs and fats are very important and should be there in the diet now what kind of a carbohydrate should the child eat so refined foods like white rice maida based rotis are actually not good all grains which are say rice which is slightly brownish in color all uh, grain wheat ragi oats are actually very good it would be good if parents can give a different carbohydrate for different meals so that the child has an exposure to all the grains on a daily basis we require proteins now the who puts it at a, a growing child needs one gram of protein per kg body weight every day so these children look at 30 to 40 grams of protein every day now for us what what proteins are there in each food let us talk a bit more on that egg contains one egg contains six gram protein if you take 100 ml of curds which is thick curds leaving the water out it contains six grams 100 ml milk contains three grams of proteins fish and chicken breast 100 grams contains 20 gram protein for vegetarians dal or sprouts or soya 100 grams contains about 18 gram proteins so these are our major protein sources in our diets so these children if they are um, parents who eat non-vegetarian food at home every child of this age should ideally get one egg every day children should drink 400 ml to 500 ml of milk every day they could add a bit of sugar or a um, bit of um, um, taste refining substances along with the milk 50 to 100 ml of curds daily is a must then child should have meals which are rich in dal or sprouts and in non-vegetarian families one of the meal could contain either chicken or fish preferably white meat is better than red meat and we should avoid eating red meat more than once a week again fried foods are not as good as boiled foods so parents should encourage children to eat more of boiled foods rather than fried foods fats fats as you know our brain is made of fat and it requires fat omega-3 fatty acids are very important so where does the children get this fat source from so milk does contain fat curds does contain fat oily fish if the children are eating does contain fats the cooking oils which we use also contains fat ghee contains fat so these things should be used in appropriate proportions in their every meal we should again as i have told before fried foods is preferably avoided fruits should form a part of their daily diet a child of 10 to 14 years should be able to eat two to three fruits actually parents should make a, a note that one fruit during breakfast one fruit after school and one fruit after dinner time should become a part of their routine 
children should eat vegetables at least two or three times again one vegetable should be a must at lunch time and one vegetable a must at dinner time in fact the child should be encouraged to eat the vegetable first before even going to the main meal because this is one of the places where parents fail to enforce children having vegetables i've already mentioned um, curds which curds and milk water 30 to 40 kg children require 1.5 liters of water every day and parents should ensure that the child drinks this in adequate quantities meals should be regular in time our body runs like a clock it it actually likes if food is given on the same times every day and does not like change of routines so a typical school going child breakfast should be around 7 30 in the morning they may have a mid snack around 10 30 by one o'clock it will be lunch four o'clock again a small snack post school and 7 38 should be their dinner so three main meals that is breakfast lunch and dinner probably two mid snacks every day these children should be encouraged to sleep nine to ten hours sleep improves immunity sleep improves their ability to concentrate in the school again sleep time should be regulated preferably that routine should not be disrupted every day exercise of one hour for these children is very much recommended and perhaps two hours when it is in weekends which is saturdays and sundays the exercise also gives them the much needed sunlight exposure develops immunity and makes themselves a disciplined beings so i think this is the routine which i'm talking of for these children